Uh, great win by our guys. So proud of uh, the effort and um, the execution and handling the adversity. Uh, we talked about it this morning that uh, the pregame that there very well could be uh, some adversity and uh, don't let your circumstance dictate how you show up. And uh, if they delay the game, if we got to get sent back in, shoot, we're built for this and um, we're going to handle it however it is. And uh, I'm so pleased with the way the guys came out. Uh, to start the game and then coming after the break, uh, guys came back. Uh, they were focused, uh, had really good energy. It was tough out there. There's no, there's no kidding that it, it was hard. The ball was heavy. Uh, it, it was raining just enough that uh, you know there was some issues throwing the football for both teams. I think the key was um, we didn't throw a pick and, and they threw four of them, um, and so that was so critical for us to be able to. Uh, limit that, limit that turn, limit the turnovers, and eliminate those. Other than the last one we had, and then when we needed to really run it, we ran it well uh, in that second half. And uh, I, I was super impressed. The first couple of drives we had, when it was dry, uh, Adrian was really sharp and uh, made some big time plays. And um, that's a good football team. Missouri's got a good team, and uh, uh, that's why I'm so excited about the, the guys taking care of business, getting a big win. Coach, how good was your defense? It was really good against a really, really explosive offense, and uh, I'm sure that you know the the weather didn't help those guys. But you know it, it is what it is. You got to play in all the elements. But they got some guys that can really run. Uh, I was impressed with the quarterback's ability to be really mobile. We hit him a lot, uh, and uh, I don't know if he got hurt if he came back. I don't know what it was. I know he did come back, but I don't know what his injury was. Um, and we were just trying not to give up the explosive play, especially when we end up having a. I think it was a 14 to three lead, and knowing what the game was turning into with the amount of rain and stuff, that you couldn't let them have an explosive play and get back into it. Was that kind of on brand for how you want to play physical through three quarters, and then the fourth quarter it looks like you'd kind of worn down that Missouri defense? Well, today it was the way we had to play. Um, we would a lot. We would all rather be more open, more spinning it around, and and utilizing our our skill kids outside. It just wasn't meant to be today. It was just uh, it was neutralized because of the uh, the the weather, the rain, and the ball. And so once we figured that out and knew that we were playing pretty good defense, uh, especially in that second half, it became okay, guys. Let's let's not make a mistake. Um, let's wear on them a little bit, see if we can wear on them. And uh, uh, that, that number 22 is a pretty good running back. Yeah, special teams, Phillip Brooks does it again. <laughs> yeah. We had talked uh, all week that we thought we could uh, either block a punt or return, return one for a touchdown. I mean, that was, that was the goal. They got such a great kicker. I don't know if we were ever going to get an opportunity on a kickoff return. We needed to do a good job in coverage. Uh, but on punt return, we felt we had to make a play to flip the game. And lo and behold, it was after the break, and we were able to do a great job um, holding guys up and, and setting a wall up. And, and uh, so excited for Phillip because uh, that was a big time play. And we talked about the, our, our dominant big time players making plays. Not only have four interceptions today, but they all four come in consecutive drives. What was the most impressive aspect of that in your mind? You know, I didn't realize uh, that they came in consecutive drives, but uh, um, the fact that uh, you know we were able to, even though we didn't convert on all those and um, maybe didn't get a first down or didn't score, whatever it may be, it just stopped every momentum that they had. Uh, and then I think it allowed us to run the football then in the fourth quarter. But uh, I thought Kobe Savage's was a big time play coming out. They were trying to take a shot, see if they could get a 95 yard touchdown. And that was what we couldn't give up. Uh, and so he makes a good play. Sincere makes a phenomenal play, turning, flipping his hips and making a pick. And then I think Nick and, and Deuce, part of it was the pressure we were continuing to get uh, on the quarterback. And uh, those, are, those are impressive when you get four of them like that. And that, and the bitter end of the game, kind of a bizarre sequence to yeah. end things. Was was it weird from your perspective? It was weird um, from our perspective. Um, you know, um, we turned the football over, so they they should try to go score. I have no problem with with uh, Missouri trying to go score. Um, it is what it is, and uh, we've got to stop them. And um, we uh, uh, have them stopped, and then we have a roughing the passer penalty, so it's an untimed down. And uh, I've. Shoot, they should try to score. I'm, I'm, it is what it is. They, they scored, and, and uh, that's how it ended. So um, you got to play the full 60, and uh, um, both teams did.
in the first quarter, it looked like maybe Deuce was contained more than um, other teams have contained him in the past, and Adrian really started to break out with his running ability. How important was it for him to get to get it going on the ground? Well, and once again, when the conditions were good, I think that's the thing that makes us a little bit more dangerous to defend is the fact that um, we have a really good running game, but we have some explosive guys outside that can make some plays. And uh, Phillip made a big time play. Malik made a really good play on one. Um, Adrian threw the ball really well in some spots in that in those early couple drives to really kind of um, get them back on their heels, so to speak. And so uh, it was just it was executed really well those first few drives. And Missouri has some pretty talented wide receivers. You guys did a really good job of keeping them in check. What do you think all went into that today? Just knowing how fast they are and knowing how explosive they are and trying to change some coverages. Uh, they caught us in a couple of looks, and I think we I think we benefited. They misfired on a couple. They they got us. They got behind us on a couple and misfired. Um, and um, we tried to get it corrected on the sideline. And then it started to rain so much that I think some of the vertical balls were tougher to throw. Um, but uh, uh, they have really talented receivers, and, and uh, um, we were trying to change as many looks as we could. Another disruptor game for Brendan Mott. I, I think he even caught Luther Burden from behind. Are yeah. you kind of find out you got a dude right there? Yeah, I was excited for Brendan. He was one of our players of the game. Um, just kind of does his business and plays hard. And... Um, Iowa boy that came in here and earned a scholarship and and uh, is is a big factor for us. He plays really hard and it gives us you know we're going to keep rotating guys and it's fun to have somebody uh, come in there that's a playmaker like Brendan. A lot of good happened today, but is there any irritation level with the amount of penalties that kind of hurt some drives? Um, yeah, uh, we'll have to see him on film. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I'm not going to get irritated winning 40 to 12 tonight. Uh, you spoke a little bit earlier about defense uh, after first possession. Josh Moore, uh, sorry, Josh Hayes missed tackle and then played stellar yeah. from there after. Yeah, uh, first game for us. Uh, I know Josh really well, and first game for us. And um, yeah, he missed one early, and he knew it. Um, but uh, Josh is a really good football player, and it was fun to watch him uh, come back and, and play physical and play hard. And it looked like Deuce was really intent on running between the tackles today. Yeah, because they were doing a good job. They've got so much length on the edge that it's just hard to get outside of them. And then when you have longer guys like that and you're trying to block them, you're going to have some holding penalties that get called. And so we, we started changing some of our um, schematics and trying to run in between the tackles more. Coach, obviously a great win for you in this current season, but how big of a win is it for you and your program as you kind of continue to recruit the Kansas-Missouri border? Um, I think it's it's important um, in the recruiting battles, but every game is important in the recruiting battle. And uh, I, I'm, I'm more excited about the, the current guys and, and the, the guys in that locker room that uh, um, put the preparation in and uh, – we're able to execute the plan that we that we had on both sides of the ball, but uh, uh, every game is about recruiting, unfortunately. How did you feel your offensive line did uh, as they went through the game? Yeah, I thought they played really well. I, I think we rushed for uh, 235 yards and um, against a really good front, uh, active front, a lot of blitzes, a lot of blitzes, and um, we were you know we didn't we had a couple. Of, I think Deuce popped popped one big run, but uh, and DJ popped a run, but. Uh, you know, there were some tough five and six yard gains, but it was able to enabling us to continue to move the chains in that third and fourth quarter. I think you've had two weeks now with close to or at least ten tackles for loss. Can you just explain how impressed you've been with the play of your defensive line? Uh, it's defensive line, it's linebackers, it's it's letting those kids be aggressive and lay their ears back. I think that's really important that we don't play stagnant, but we play vertical and try to get penetration. And uh, we have some really talented guys there. Uh, I didn't see all the stats on tackles for loss, but uh, um, we have some guys that are really talented there that uh, can get off the football and roll. I was going to talk about Austin Moore. He had two tackles for loss. Seemed in the first half, he was around the ball all the time and really did a good job in open field tackling. What yeah. do you see in his progression and, and how he's improved? Uh, he's a really good football player and one of our leaders, and he was another one of our uh, game MVPs down in the in the locker room. Austin's just a terrific football player that's really an unsung guy that um, just makes plays, and um, kids love him because he doesn't say anything. Um, you know, he, he leads by what he does, um, and he's a terrific football player and, and uh, excited. He's deserved and earned what he's doing right now with hard work.
Coach, you feel like you're just starting to crack the seal on the offense and its capabilities? You know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, once again, guys, I mean, we've had two really different games. One where we were up so big in the first quarter and another one uh, where it was raining its tail off. And, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we're, we're going to keep working at it. I don't know. Coach, how proud of you? <clears throat> excuse me, were, were you of uh, Chris Tennant for kind of bouncing back after those misses? And yeah, and I didn't see the PAT. I, I was talking to somebody. I don't know. I, Jack and stuff said the snap was was good. I didn't know if he slipped. I don't know if we lost protection. I don't know. Um, you know, he he drained, hit a couple of big kicks for us. And and Chris has got tremendous leg strength, and and uh, uh, we believe in the kid. So we're going to keep giving him opportunities. Coach, just how impressed are you with the scoring defense right now through two games, the shutout and then? Yeah, um, they're, they're doing a really nice job. And uh, uh, credit uh, Coach Kleinerman and the defensive staff for putting them in positions to be successful and then those kids executing and detailing at a high level. It's really hard to communicate when we're playing at the bill. It's really hard. And so our nonverbal communication is continuing to improve. We missed a couple of today that probably should have resulted in big plays that, that uh, we still know we have to continue to get better, especially on the communication side. But, uh, you know, it's hard to, to hold people without touchdowns. It, it just is. This, this game is such a, a fast-paced, up-tempo game. But uh, um, you know, we got to keep learning on D as well. Adrian Martinez's touchdown run, Deuce Vaughn had a, a good block to kind of spring him free. Yep. Uh, he came off the field, had a nice moment with you. Just can you kind of talk about what he means to this program? Well, he, he's uh, pretty pretty special, um, and he's just an unselfish guy. I mean, that's the thing that uh, collectively across the board uh, on our football team, we got a bunch of unselfish guys. And um, I grabbed Adrian in the third quarter, and I said, Adrian, we're just going to run the ball and try to make sure that we don't make a mistake because I know how hard it is to throw it. I know how heavy that ball is. And so you just keep manufacturing this game and and that's what he did. And Deuce the same way. He makes a big time block. Um, that, that's It's fun to have unselfish guys and, and uh, um, they just want to win. That's all these guys want to do is win. And the stats will come. Um, the accolades will come. But uh, it's so much more fun to win. And, and we got a bunch of guys in the locker room. Everybody's a contributor, whether you're a special team, scout team, or starter. Well, it's it's going one more year, we know, and it'll be tough to go to Columbia, um, uh, but we got a lot of time before we end up doing that. Uh, it, it the landscape of college football is changing, and uh, I know one thing: Kansas State wants to be a part of the Habs, and uh, wins like this, I think, elevate you as part of the Habs. And you ask those kids in that locker room. Um, we got a good football team, and uh, we're continuing to improve and get better. But uh, uh, we got a lot of guys with a chip on their shoulder down there because uh, we think we have the potential to be a good football team and, and continue to improve. But uh, uh, this was no question a huge win that we have. We talked about extensively this week how big this game would be. Anything else? Okay, thank you. Thanks, everyone.